Well, hi everybody and happy new year. I hope you guys had a great night. Mine ended up kind of disappointing at midnight when uh, Ohio State missed that kick. But I got to tell you, it was a great game. We had a great time watching the game. Uh, did I eat too much? Yeah. I mean, we were stress eating the whole game, eating snacks. Uh, I was just at my sister's. But today is a new day. And um, I have actually been really looking forward to today just because, you know, it's a new year, it's a new start. And I feel a little bit more invigorated and focused about this weight loss journey. And as you all know, uh, for me, uh, 2022, as far as weight loss, was really kind of a big bust. I ended up gaining weight for the year, um, 3.4 pounds. I gained most of that weight in the month of December. So. Uh, I could make every excuse there is about why I gained weight. You know, I was busy, my eating schedule, my sleep schedule, everything was just off kilter because I was so busy with school. Um, you know, I can find an excuse for anything. The fact of the matter is I gained weight because I overate. I just ate too much. And that's all there is to it. I'm not going to make any more further excuses for it. Um, I blew it. I knew I was blowing it when I was eating. So that's the thing, you know, I, I knew what I was doing. So, but today's a new day. I have an, um, my menu, or my, my meal plan ready to go. Uh, it's nothing new, nothing earth shattering. I'm doing foods that I normally eat. Uh, I'm going to be showing you this year, uh, as much food as possible, uh, a lot of it's going to be repetitive because I eat the same things, not because, you know, it's well, it's because I like it. So, uh, so I'm going to show you my food and, uh, you know, just be honest about how I'm doing. Uh, I have shown you food in the past and then after I've recorded, I've just gone off the rails and eaten snacks and stuff like that. No, no more. I'm showing you everything and uh, every year I say this. That it, that this is my year, I'm going to do this. Let me just tell you that I did not make any New Year's resolutions, but I did set some goals for myself. Um, I'm not going to try to be perfect. And one of the reasons I'm not doing that is because I've set these lofty goals in the past about, well, you know, I'm going to stay on track every single day and and uh, I'm not going to go over my points every single day. And then when I have a day or two where I go over points or, if, or I don't track, I feel like I've blown it and mentally that just sets me off on the wrong path. So my goal is to track, you know, and I'm kind of bait looking at it like I do when I'm setting goals for my students, you know, that, you know, four out of seven days I'm going to stay within my points. Four out of seven days I'm going to make sure my tracker is up to date. That's my goal. That's not to say that I can't exceed that goal. I'm going to try, but uh, that's my goal. I'm not going to try to be perfect every single day. Uh, I'm going to allow myself to have a treat or a snack every once in a while, but not every day like I did in the month of December. Um, I'm going to be more diligent about taking my lunch. I was real good when, when I first started working. Uh, there during November I was real good about taking my lunch to school and then December hit and uh, you know just because I was so busy I was tired when I was home I went to bed instead of preparing my lunch and I didn't get up in time in the morning to do it before I had to leave for school so um, those are personal goals I've set for myself to be uh, more time conscious so Anyway, I wanted to pop on up on here and tell you that, you know, I have started, my trackers are ready to go, my planners are ready to go. Uh, I've been working real hard in prepping. Uh, my uh, weight loss is just one aspect of things that I'm trying to get in order this year. Um, and we'll talk a lot about that as, as the year progresses, but uh, the other thing is my finances. I uh, I was doing a real, real good job with my finances, you know, this year while I was in, while um, 
I was subbing in the spring and then, you know, I went, was in South Dakota and I got home and I just kind of got off kilter. So it wasn't just my weight loss journey that I was kind of slacking on. It was other areas of my life too. So this year I'm just kind of looking at, this is a year of organization and just trying to get it together, you know, preparing for the future a little bit better. So um, looking back and reflecting on the times when I was really successful on um, my on with my weight loss, I was also successful in other areas of my life too. So, for me, 2023 is going to be not only a, a physical uh, health journey, but also a spiritual and emotional, mental health journey also. Um, so there's a lot of things that I'm going to be working on uh, with myself just to better myself. Um, I guess I could say the bottom line of my goal is that every day I just want to be better than I was the day before. So, And I think that's something we can all work toward no matter what that means to you. Does it mean that um, maybe I'm going to be better with eating every day? Yeah. Uh, but with the meal plan that I have out is, you know, I think I can, I can accomplish that. It's one thing to set a goal and work out all of these details. Like I have my budget figured out for this next month. I've got my meal plan, at least for the week, figured out. Uh, it's one thing to have it written down. It's another thing to follow the plan. So today, um, New Year's Day, uh, I'm cleaning out my refrigerator. There's... I'm pretty sure there's some science projects in there, um, but uh, I do need to clean up my refrigerator just to make sure there aren't any obstacles in uh, my way for the uh, the path that I've set for this week. Uh, I've got uh, my budget book out. I'm working on that. I've got budget. I've got financial things to worry about with my son's business because I run his books, so I'm going to be working on that. And I have to do lesson planning <laughs> yet this week. I've kind of put all the schoolwork. I didn't even think about school while I was on vacation. I was going to choreograph the show, and I thought, nah, I'm just going to wait, see how things go. I've got time to do that choreography, and that gives me something to work toward, you know, later. But I do have to have at least my first week of lesson plans done by Tuesday morning, <laughs> so because I go back to school. With that, I'm going to stop now. Uh, I'm going to go and prepare my breakfast. Uh, and I'll show that to you here in just a moment. So, hang on. My breakfast for the first day of 2023 is, uh, this is French toast in a bowl. The recipe is called French toast in a mug. Uh, I didn't want to dirty a mug, another mug. So, um, I just put it in a bowl and microwaved it. Uh, two points for that. The only points in there is the bread. It's got uh, Sara Lee, uh, the 45 calorie bread, two slices for two points. Uh, also on there is just a tablespoon of unsweetened uh, vanilla almond milk. That's zero points. My banana weighed out at 83 grams, which is also zero points. And I've got it topped with uh, the Walden Farms pancake syrup. This is zero points um, for like the whole bottle. <laughs> I have uh, 37 milliliters of that, so it's zero points. So in my bowl of uh, French toast, it is uh, only two points. And then my coffee totals one point with a total of 80 milliliters of fat-free half and half. This is my second cup, so uh, that's the total there. Three-point breakfast this morning to start off the new year. So this is one of my favorite quick lunches. Uh, I just have oh, a handful of grapes weighed out at 70 grams. That is zero points for me. This is a Thomas Light English muffin uh, weighed out at 54 grams, so two points on that. Uh, between the two halves, I've got 28 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese, one point for that, and then the tomato, of course, is zero points. So I have a uh, three-point lunch with the uh, English muffin and the cheese uh, today, and I don't remember how many points that takes me to for the day, but not a lot. All right, so this is lunch on New Year's Day. All 
All right, well, here is my dinner for tonight. No sauerkraut and pork tonight for me. <clears throat> I have sauerkraut, but <clears throat> I didn't have any pork, so I just said, yeah, I'll do something else. So I have a filet of wild-caught uh, Pacific haddock, I think, or cod. It's zero points. It weighed out at 122 grams. Uh, I have uh, 17 grams of saltine crackers, and that is um, two points. On my vegetable soup that I tasted it so good, um, I have uh, the vegetable soup itself is zero points, and uh, there's two teaspoons of Parmesan cheese on top of that for one point. So I have a three-point dinner. This takes me to nine points for the day. This is my evening snack. Um, just had an apple, 171 grams of that. Of course, that's zero points for the fruit. I have 30 grams of Peter Pan creamy peanut butter, and that is six points. So I have a six point snack, and this takes me to only 15 points today. So pretty good day. Well, <clears throat> you saw all of my food today, except for one snack that I did add uh, a little later, and that was uh, popcorn. So. I love popcorn and I was so happy that that turned out to be zero points on uh, when they changed the plans. Uh, but because I love it, it's so difficult for me to bring it in. And I have to tell you, uh, this past week, between Christmas and New Year's, I was eating a lot of popcorn. So the popcorn itself isn't bad, although, you know, it still has about 150 calories in it. but. Um, I was also adding butter to it. I mean, real butter. Butter by itself isn't bad. I do use real butter at times, uh, but I was eating just way too much. Just another example how I was, you know, just n mindlessly eating. Um, so what happened at my weigh-in on Saturday, uh, or yesterday, I guess, yeah, it was yesterday, was no surprise. Matter of fact, the surprise for me was that it wasn't worse than what it was. I fully expected a huge, huge gain. I mean, I still had a hefty gain. So, uh, yet Saturday, I had a gain of 1.7 for the week. I could have totally avoided that. I totally could have made that a loss. But I didn't. I it was Christmas. I took advantage of Christmas and uh, just made very poor choices. That took my, I think I told you earlier, it was a 5.4 or something like that gain for the month. I'm looking at my spreadsheet right now, it's 6.5. I gained 6.5 pounds in December. So I, that's totally unacceptable to me. Just totally unacceptable. That took my um, year to date gain of 3.4. So I didn't lose any weight, even though I had times where I lost weight. And when I was in South Dakota, I lost quite a bit of weight. Uh, came home and put it all back on and then some. So um, 3.4 pounds I gained. And um, as of today, I am 3.9 pounds heavier than what I was on January 1st, 2022. So I keep a, a you know ongoing spreadsheet here so I can look back at my last years and um, I have to tell you I'm making changes because this it would be so easy for me to get back to 277.8 pounds. So um, I don't want that to happen. I have a pair of size 10 jeans that I bought a couple years ago that I was able to wear. I can't even get them halfway up now. So I have them hanging right over here by my door where when I sit in my living room, which is where I normally eat my meals, I can see them. So I know it seems like a silly thing, but it worked for me before when I hung them up where I could see them every single day. I want to be able to wear that size 10 again. So. Um, Today was a good day, uh, plan-wise and uh, everything-wise. It was a good day. I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere at all. 
and uh, I, but I stayed here. I did some computer work. I did some budgeting work. I did some uh, stuff in my son's business. Um, I got a lot accomplished, even though I didn't go in anywhere. <laughs> Uh, I made a terrific soup that soup that I showed you um, that I had with my dinner was just awesome and I have enough I have it po it zero points you know I have enough to take it for lunch this week so that's what I'm looking at I don't work tomorrow so um, tomorrow is designated for lesson planning but anyway I had a really good day today it's a good start to the year uh, my focus has changed. I'm starting to get excited again about weight loss. I hadn't been excited about it in a long, long time. And it shows. The scale shows. I mean, the scale doesn't lie. If <laughs> if uh, you ever watch that show, um, My 600 Pound Life, or I think that's what it's called, uh, with uh, Dr. Now, he <laughs> that's one of his sayings, you know. <laughs> the scale doesn't lie. People lie. My scale does not lie. And my, the way my clothes are fitting, that's not lying either. So time to get, to rein it in before it gets totally out of control. And I did a good job of that today. I'm just taking small steps. I'm just, you know, I'm not setting lofty goals other than the fact by the end of 2023, I want to be back into Wonderland. Now I've got about 27 pounds to go to get there. But I, I think by the end of the year I can lose 27 pounds. Let's hope. But, but uh, I am. That is my main goal. So by the end of the year of 2023, I want to be into Wonderland. But I want to be well into Wonderland. I don't want to be in like 199.9. I want to be well into Wonderland. You know, I lost 93 pounds, over 93 pounds, and and I let myself put weight back on. I know I can do this. I've done it before. And I am going to do it again. So, um, it's a new year, a new focus. It's a, a new chance. Every day is a new chance. I'm setting smaller goals. I think part of my issue with weight loss, especially this last couple of years, has been, it's like, I've always had something I wanted to lose weight for. Like, it was my son's wedding, then I was going to South Dakota, and it just, it put pressure on me to the point where I j it just went the other way. And I could make excuses for everything. And like I told you earlier, there is an excuse for every single thing, for anybody. But the bottom line is I ate too much and I gained weight in 2022. So, not going to do that again. And I'm going to set smaller goals. So, um, day one is accomplished. I wanted to have a good day where I didn't go off plan. Uh, I made some positive steps to ensure that I'm not going to go off plan. I did have a couple things in my refrigerator that could have been major stumbling blocks for me. About a week and a half ago I bought a half gallon of eggnog. Now I like eggnog. Um, I love it when I make it and uh, I you know, sometimes I like store-bought eggnog it, and when I bought it I, I must have been craving it. So there was literally almost a full half gallon of eggnog in my refrigerator today. Now you know that's about a million calories a sip. But um, I poured some of that into a cup and I thought, eh, I'll just have this one cup and get rid of, it, rid of it. I did get rid of what was left in that bottle. I took two sips of that eggnog and I thought, this is just going to defeat your whole purpose today. And I got rid of that too. So that was the big major thing I had to get rid of. I didn't have anything else that was super, that was unhealthy, actually. My problem hasn't been what's been in my refrigerator. It's been what's been coming through DoorDash or the pizza delivery guy. Um, so my groceries are, are well set. Uh, there's nothing here that would cause me to um, overeat, or not, I shouldn't say overnight eat, but shouldn't cause me to uh, binge eat, I should say. Now, even the healthy food, too much of it is not a good thing, so that's why I'm continuing to um, weigh and measure everything. So, what I end the day with, even with the popcorn, I think I ended the day with 15 points. Yep, 15 points, so that, meant that I, means that I have 8 on the table. Now, it's showing that I have 35 weeklies left. I really don't, because I didn't track the snacks I had last night over at my sister's. 
uh, and we had you know crackers and chips and dips and and uh, sausage and cheese you know so I I was well over points yesterday I know that but I I knew that was going to happen it was uh, New Year's Eve and with the way that football game was going we just all kept watching TV shoving it in um, game didn't end in my favor but boy it was a good game so anyway I just want to let you know I'm well aware of what I'm doing here I am uh, focusing more and more and more every day on getting back into healthy habits so um, I, I've made a good start today before I end I want to thank you all uh, for following along with me on this journey. I just happened to look at my Weight Watchers app. You know, you can see your weigh-ins and stuff way back from the beginning. Um, and I, my first weigh-in was January 5th of 2016. I'm going to look again just to make sure. But I think that's what I saw. It was 2016 was my first Weight Watchers weigh-in. Let me go see this. Because um, I, I was curious I, I if I had the timeline right. Yes, January 5th of 2016. Now, the good thing is I've lost um, over 50 pounds and I've kept that off. Uh, but I'm at the point where if I don't, you know, hit it hard now, I'm going to go below that 50 pounds. So, uh that's the good thing. I am. I have lost 50 pounds, and I have kept that off. The bad thing was I had lost. You know, I was I'm almost to my 100 pound mark, and I gained back almost as much as I've lost. So uh, it's time to turn it around. I know the first of the year is a good time to do that. It's a new beginning, but uh, I made a decision, and that is that I'm going to stick with this, and. Uh, I deserve this. I deserve to get this weight off once and for all. I deserve to have uh, a healthier body. And um, that's just how I'm approaching things. Small steps. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you will stick around for this because I'm expecting to have an exciting year. I have a lot of things going on after school is done. And, uh, you know, it's going to be another adventure this summer in a different place. So I want to get healthy and be in a good place physically and mentally, emotionally, and spiritually before I take off for Utah. So, okay, guys, thank you so much. Happy New Year. I hope everyone is staying st safe and well. Please say a, a little prayer for my friend, uh, Sparkly Susan, who is uh, uh, quite a bit under the weather right now. So uh, we all want her to get better. Uh, the thing about her is that in spite of her being sick and not feeling well, she's still putting such positive and uplifting posts up on Facebook. So, uh, Susan, if you're watching me, I really am praying for you and hoping that this passes quickly and that it's uh, not too hard on you. So, And also, my son Evan has type A flu. Uh, that's how he started out his new year. He sent me a snap earlier and he just looks pathetic. So, if you could just keep them in, in your thoughts and your prayers. So, I will hopefully be back up here tomorrow. I'm going to try to be more regular up here on YouTube again uh, as we continue on into the year. You guys have a safe weekend, and I will see you soon. All right? Have a good one. Bye-bye.